Facebook is getting rid of live streaming to groups? No! Hey everybody, it's Friends from StreamYard with an important update about Facebook Groups. On April 22nd, 2024, Facebook will get rid of the Groups API. That means that third-party tools will no longer be able to post into Facebook Groups or to live stream into them. And that includes all platforms, even StreamYard. But fear not, here are three different ways that you can still live stream to Facebook Groups after April 22nd. The first one is RTMP. RTMP stands for Real Time Messaging Protocol. If that's a little bit over your head, all that you need to know is that RTMP allows you to stream to platforms where StreamYard doesn't have a direct integration. To connect a platform via RTMP to StreamYard, all you have to do is go to the Destinations tab in StreamYard, Add Destination, and select Custom RTMP. Here, you will be asked to enter a RTMP server URL and a stream key, and give it a nickname, like Facebook Group. On Facebook, simply go into your group and create a live stream. Here, you have the option to either schedule an event or go live. For this, we'll go live right now. There, we'll select a streaming software as a video source. Here you can see a stream key already, and if you click into advanced settings, you also get the server URL. Let's copy this over. One important thing to notice is that after every broadcast, you will have to enter a new stream key. If you don't want to do this, make sure to toggle here persistent stream key. So then you can keep your RTMP destination in StreamYard the same. Now, if we want to create a stream to a Facebook group, we simply create a live stream and select here Facebook group. And that's all you have to do in order to go live on your Facebook groups. The only issue here is that the post you're creating right now, even after you schedule it, is not actually sent to the group until you go live. If you want to do that, you actually have to create a live event, which is an extra step. There are a couple downsides to the RTMP's approach. The first one is that you won't be able to show comments underneath your stream anymore, inside of the StreamYard Studio. The second one is that RTMP is not available on StreamYard's free plans. So if you're on a free plan, you need a different solution. The second way to go live in Facebook groups after April 22nd is to use Facebook pages. Simply create a live stream for a Facebook page and then share it inside of a Facebook group. To create a live stream to a Facebook page, all you have to do is go to destinations, add destination, and then select your Facebook page. Now you can connect your Facebook page directly and you'll be able to access the comments. All you have to do is to log into your Facebook page and then share the link that was created of your live stream into your Facebook group. If you need a little extra help to connect your Facebook page, we have a link for you in the description below. The downside to this approach is that streams to Facebook pages are public. If you want your live streams to be private to your group and you want to be able to see the comments of your audience inside of the StreamYard Studio, you should use the third option. The third option is to share a link to a private stream. One way to do this is to go on StreamYard and connect your YouTube account. There, you can create a stream and then set the privacy to unlisted. Once you schedule the stream, you can then share that link inside of your Facebook group. If you're on a StreamYard Pro plan or above, you can also use StreamYard on air to create a private stream and see the comments of your audience. Simply go into StreamYard and select on air webinar. StreamYard on air is StreamYard's own webinar platform, which allows you to create private self-hosted live streams outside of YouTube or other big platforms. Simply add a title, description, and then decide whether you want to collect emails and registrations information. Then set a time for your event and add a thumbnail. You can even create one with AI. Once you edit your thumbnail, click create and your streamer on air event is ready to go. You can now click here on share and then copy the link and share it in your Facebook group. So your audience members can see it when you're ready to go live. As you can see, there are three different ways to go live on Facebook groups after April 22nd. We hope one of them works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot our team a message at contact at streamyard.com. Happy streaming.